Hey everybody, this is Jay Leno, and this pre-calculus lesson is uh, graphing nonlinear inequalities. You kind of saw some of this in your algebra, probably algebra two class, and so this just should be a review. Okay, so um, uh, let's do the board problem first. 16. Uh, describe how f of x equals the absolute value of x and g of x uh, equals negative three times uh, the absolute value of x plus two are related. Okay. All right. So um, uh, f of x is a V shape coming out of the origin right there. And then g of x, this negative 3 is going to make it uh, reflect over the, the x axis. This plus 2 is going to make it go to the left uh, two units right here. And this 3 right here is going to make it skinnier. Instead of going uh, over 1, down 1, it's going to go over 3, down 3. So uh, it's reflected over the, over the x axis, uh, not the y axis. This says uh, y axis right here. So it's reflected over the, the x axis. Sorry, let me change that real quick, um, and uh, and then uh, and then it's going to be um, more narrow, and it's going to be translated two units to the left. Now I know it didn't say graph, but I go ahead, I went ahead and graphed that uh, right there. So here's f of x right here, and then here's g of x, the red guy right here. See how it's skinnier uh, right there? So if we go over one, it went down three. So right about there, right there. So. Anyways, uh, that's the graph of that. Okay, let's go ahead and graph these guys. Um, uh, this one, this is a parabola. So this parabola is going through 0, 0. So over 1, it goes up 2 times 1 squared. So this 2 times 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, so it's going to go up 2. If I went from the origin again, over 2, 2 times 2 squared would be 8. It's going to go up 8 on both sides. Okay, so over 1, up 2 times. Over 2, up 8. And then go ahead and graph it. There's my parabola. Okay, number three, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, make this negative two, make it a fraction for both. So it's uh, x squared over negative two minus one over negative two, which becomes um, negative one half x squared plus a half. Okay, so it's going to have this vertex is going here at a half. So I'm going to put a little dot right here. Let me get this on right here. Okay, so a little dot's going to go right there. And it's going down. It's going down a half of one squared, a half of two squared. So when I go over one, and I'm at the half mark, it's going to go down a half of one squared, which is a half. So I'm going to put a point there and there. And then from here, when I go over two, two squared is four, half of that is two. So it's going to take me down to um, uh, negative one and a half on that, okay? So you're going to go ahead and graph that, and there you go. All right, uh, so graph the nonlinear inequalities. Um, so determine whether uh, these ordered pairs are a solution to the inequality y is greater than or equal to 2x cubed plus 7. So you're just going to plug in all those x's and y's for each one of those, and you're going to find out only uh, negative 2, 5, and negative 4, 2 uh, satisfy that, okay? And I think you guys can see what I did right there. So I'm going kind of fast just to keep the video short. All right, okay, graph y is less than or equal to the cube root of x minus 1 plus 2. Let's go ahead and do the parent graph, you guys, of y equals the cube root of x. Okay, there's y equals the cube root of x. All right. Uh, so the cube root of 1 is 1, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1, and the cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, okay? So something you guys should get uh, in your memory banks, you should know that by now. All right, and then this little dude is going to shift it to the right 1 and up 2. So I'm just going to take this graph and shift it to the right 1 and up 2. Okay, so there's that one right there, and then we just got a shade. So uh, test 0, 0, 0, 0 satisfies that, so it's going to be shading on that side of that, okay? If, if it 0, 0 didn't satisfy that inequality, then I'd shade this side up here. All right, let's try another one here, okay? Uh, this one's going to be an absolute value, so instead of going through 0, 0, it's going um, uh, over 5 to the right, up 4, okay? And it's going to be a dotted uh, V. So there, uh, over to the 5, up 4, there's my dotted B. Again, test 0, 0. 0, 0 doesn't make it true. When I plug in 0 here, 0 here, it says no. So I'm not going to shade the outside. I'm going to shade the inside of that, uh, that V shape right there. So there's that one right there. Okay, uh, solve this inequality. Okay, or not inequality. Yeah, this inequality. Okay, first got to get rid of that 3. And then when it's pointing away from the absolute value, once you've isolated that, then this is an or statement. So you have to make it um, x minus 4 is, is greater than 5 or x minus 4 is less than negative 5. And then go ahead and solve each one of those. And I like having the number, the smaller number on the left and the bigger number on the right. So there's the, the algebra answer. Okay, one more, you guys. 
Okay, um, solve 2 less than the uh, absolute value of 2x minus 1 greater than negative 7. Again, i got to get rid of that 2. It's going to make it negative 9. And now i got to get rid of the negative in front of the absolute values. And when you get rid of the negative, you divide both sides by negative 1. It's going to flip that inequality when you divide by negative. All right, this is considered a, an AND statement. So when it's like that, then I put it in between the 2 right there. And then go ahead and solve that guy, and there you go.